Sir, before you go, don't forget to take out the garbage. That's better. Throwing it away, suddenly a question comes to his mind. Where this goes after? This is a good question. Where does our trash go? Trash appears to be a logical consequence to the consumption society. Actually, 6 billion of trash are produced all over the world every year. But trash generated is not always recycled and ends up in landfill sites contaminating soil and air, especially in developing countries such as India, China and Brazil, where there is not often a recycling process in action. As a consequence, pollution is higher, including water pollution. However, trash can be reused and transformed into energy. It's called waste to energy. Sweden is a leader in this process. They are turning more than double in trash per year into energy. So let's see how does it work and how does French recycling centers are doing it. Donc, nous sommes ici au centre d'incinération et de valorisation des déchets ménagers à Saint-Ouen du Cyclum. Nous sommes en présence de Mohamed. Bonjour Mohamed. Bonjour. Mohamed, pouvez-vous vous pouvez nous expliquer le processus, comment euh, les déchets sont utilisés pour créer de l'énergie et euh, dans un deuxième temps, euh, des conséquences sur l'environnement euh, Je suis technicien en instrumentation euh, à Tiru, à Saint-Ouen. Donc en fait, euh, la collecte se fait. Euh, à l'aide de camions poubelles qui viennent déverser leurs ordures ménagères. Cette ordure ménagère est récupérée par un grappin qui est mise dans les fours. Une fois les fours, on monte à 850 degrés pour euh, la combustion. Euh, cette vapeur, en fait, on crée de la vapeur en tant qu'énergie. Cette vapeur, euh, en fait, on, on la met sur un réseau spécialisé pour faire tourner un groupe euh, turbo-alternateur. Donc cette énergie nous sert à nous-mêmes pour notre autoconsommation. Et c'est de l'électricité qu'on met aussi euh, sur le réseau pour ODF. On récupère aussi de la vapeur qui, elle, va à CPCU pour tout ce qui est chauffage urbain. De plus, tout ce qui est marche fer est récupéré pour tout ce qui est BTP. Malheureusement, dans ce type de process, il y a une partie euh, pollution. Il reste euh, les fumées à traiter. Celles-ci sont traitées à l'aide d'électrofiltres. Ce sont des grands champs électriques qui captent les poussières. Ensuite, on les passe dans des bâches euh, humides c'est-à-dire des bâches, euh, on lave nos fumées à l'aide d'acide et de soude. Et ensuite, on fait passer la fumée dans un catalyseur qui va la nettoyer. Donc sur un volume, on a 80% de vapeur d'eau et le reste euh, de petits résidus qui restent dans les fumées. Voilà. Merci Mohamed pour cette explication. Hello Martin. Today we would like to have your opinion about our, the incineration recycling process. How we can improve this process to make it more accessible to developing countries? Um, could we lower the price of this uh, process? Uh, I think the, the incineration process can always be adapted to any single situation. For example, by working on the amount of waste or the size of the plant. But uh, it is quite dependent on huge investments, usually made by major companies, uh, which are rarely interested by uh, working with uh, local isolated communities. <coughs> um, so we need then to develop uh, a bigger variety of alternative solutions uh, that can um, that, can, that are easy to install for local communities and then allow them to be less dependent on the energy production and uh, local consumption. Uh, to give an example, I worked with an uh, isolated uh, local community in Laos uh, where they tried to, uh, to build uh, many different uh, alternative sustainable systems and techniques. Uh, for example, they built uh, a biogas system, which is basically uh, a dome made of concrete, uh, where the, the gas is produced by the natural methanization process and uh, accumulates at the top of the dome. Then it goes through a pipe directly to the to the kitchen, and which can uh, allow to use uh, to be used for half of the gas consumption to cook in the kitchen for the for the different customers. And the system was able to provide half of the needs uh, for cooking uh, completed with a gas bottle for the other half of the consumption. 
<coughs> this shows that uh, several small sustainable solutions all put together can bring most of the renewable energy that matches the, the basic needs of those isolated populations. Okay, thank you Martin for this explanation. So, to conclude, using our trash to create renewable energy in the cheapest way is possible. But why we don't have developing countries where garbage is often an environmental concern to use this process? Actually, we found out that most of people do not care about their trash once they throw it away. So, it's all about changing the state of mind of people and making them more aware.